Bondi Beach. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. We got off at about 5 to come down here and attempt to take some sunrise photographs. Um, we just wanted to kind of experiment because we've never really taken some sunrise photos. Yeah, now we're just chilling out. Tim's got the drone in the air and it's a really nice morning. Like, so we just thought that that lifeguard was going to come over and yell at us for flying the drone here but he actually wanted us to have a look in the water and see if there was a shark because um, they got like a shark call in and he couldn't see it properly so he was like trying to look on our drone and see if there's a shark I'm like this is quite hilarious right now I mean, yeah he's come over he's like is this your drone we're like yeah he's like can like, you look no. for a shark for me <laughs> and we're like are you serious right now he's like yeah anyway that's what you get when you come to australia folks sharks and sharks and friendly friendly lifeguards was yeah. he trying to catch it i think he was trying to catch it i don't know what was happening he's like we're running with his hands and I I tried to land on him, but it accidentally just went to you. I know, it loves me more. It's mama. I almost took my head off there when I landed. You it? literally did. You almost chopped my head off. Tim literally landed on my head, like so quickly as well. <laughs> Is that a cow? Yeah. Oh, the cow. So, Tim came up with this weird new method of making oats. We pretty much boil the kettle and then we pour it in. Like just, you know, like that much maybe. Stir. And then pop the lid on for like five minutes. And then when you come back to it, it's kind of like, kind of half cooked, kind of gooey-ness. Dry, like really dry and that's what I'm really liking. Then I pop it into a bowl and it doesn't look that appetizing right now. <laughs> and then I put some soy milk. I just really enjoy this texture. Some of you might be like, ew, but like... And then I put a whole lot of fruit on top and some cinnamon. It's like a really easy, different way to eat oatmeal. Hmm. It's kind of like microwaving it. We don't have a microwave, so that's why. Look at his face. He's like the, the sun, sun in his eyes. He's just me. like not loving it. We really need to go. Fonzie's going to be waiting. My camera, got my towels, got my bag. And yeah, oh, by the way guys, I know my late my last vlog up in the coast, I was looking for towels and I finally found some towels. I love these towels. I was looking for lightweight towels. So I got these from a brand called what well, the there it is. That's what it's called. <laughs> Made. So let's go. Always Waiting on Tim. Why is he so slow? He's just doing this on purpose now. Oh, they can hold chuck it. Chuck it, chuck it. Okay. You should do it slowly. I don't think you can do it slowly. <laughs> ah! oh. Alright, we're here with Fonzie, the Fonz man. Hey Fonz! Hey guys. Alright, we're getting acai. We're getting acai. So, okay. I got an acai bowl and it's really beautiful like you're probably not going to be able to deal with its beauty. I was actually just telling Tim and Fonzie I can never get a good acai bowl in Sydney. I In the Gold Coast they're like amazing. <laughs> Every time I try and get an acai bowl here it's like it's like Sydney's just like doesn't give a fuck you know what I mean like they're just like we do not care. Look at it. <laughs> No, but the thing is, I come to this place every single day, and it's so Instagram and so beautiful. But and then one day, <laughs> that meme, <laughs> funny. I take funny there. It's probably the most ugliest society. Well, because I've ever his, seen. the girl that always mm. makes his wasn't there today. Yeah. What's her name? Amy. Amy, where are you at? Where are you at? It tastes alright though. It's Excuse not me? like the best I've ever had. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is happening today? Tim, are you right? <laughs> it is so busy. <laughs> Refreshed. I feel like the body's more tan than you. I, I am more tan. Every day to get vitamin D. They're saying that I'm more tan, apparently. You are, you look like you're kind of bronze goddess at the moment. Oi! Ew! Bye, blondes! Okay, so I'm ready to make my lunch. Excuse my towel, I have like a... <coughs> I just choked on tofu. Um, I have a little towel that I like dry my hair as I go. Anyway, um, I am going to make one of my favorite lunches at the moment, which is like a noodle... A noodle dish with um, tofu and corn. I pretty much just put some frozen corn, some tofu, and some mushrooms. This is like normal button mushrooms, and these are king oyster mushrooms, which are my favorite mushroom ever. They look like that before you slice it up. Um, yeah, love that mushroom. You can usually get it from like Asian groceries. And some pak choy, of course. Um, and yeah, usually I use these buckwheat soba noodles just because I really love the, f the flavor of them and they're super healthy for you, really good for you buckwheat. However, they're a little bit of a a bitch to cook to be honest um, so they just take a little bit of time and I'm really hungry right now so I'm actually going to use these organic uh, like normal kind of wheat noodles they're really easy to cook I'm just gonna put them in a bowl with some hot water over the top like so put a plate over the top of it like that and let that kind of like cook for like 10 minutes maybe just need any more water in here for like nine I'm just gonna put in the oh no, I'm gonna put in these mushrooms first because they kind of take a little bit longer to cook, so let those cook for just a few minutes and the pak choy is going in the steamer. Now we can add the rest of the mushrooms going on in. Pretty much straight after I'm also gonna add the tofu. Yes, add a little bit of water if needed. Two small cloves of garlic going in. Alright, and then I'm just gonna let that cook for like Minutes. So I'm just going to add a dash of these sauces. I have a vegetarian vegan uh, shiitake stir fry mushroom sauce. So it's pretty much just soy sauce and shiitake mushroom powder, which is great. Then I'm going to add a little bit of tamari, which is like a low sodium soy sauce. And also a little bit of mirum, which is like a Japanese vinegar. I always say this wrong. I'm pretty sure it's vinegar. Soy sauce. Just get that tofu marinated and some mirum and my corn yes this looks so good all right just put a, a plob of that in a plob i don't even know what a plob is to be honest but apparently it's this look that that delicious much all right so my noodles just need another few minutes um but everything else is ready so i'm just gonna sip on some water and Toast up some sesame seeds to put on top. Sesame seeds are pretty much life, and they're always better when you toast them, so. Yes, lots of sesame seeds. It's good shit. And there you have it, guys. There is my weird noodle tofu combo. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. To be honest, it's better with the buckwheat, but this is still really good. Try it with the buckwheat soba noodles and make sure you follow the instructions on how to cook them, otherwise you mess them up. <laughs> I went back for seconds, guys. I went back for seconds. I'm in the car and I'm actually going to run some errands right now because, uh, yeah. And I'm also going to drop off my car to get it clean because Friday they have a special on around the corner from my house and I'm way too lazy to clean it myself. Finished my chores and just walking back to my house. I went and dropped my car off to get it washed. Dinner's almost ready. Had to move Tim's stool out of the kitchen because he was chopping and sitting down at the same time. All right, so for dinner, we're having a vegetable stew. Potatoes, carrots, pumpkin, zucchini, kale, uh, celery, onions, and herbs for flavoring. Just waiting on the brown rice. Avocado and vegetable stew just go so well together. Like, I don't know. I mean, avocado goes well with everything, to be honest. And there is my dinner. So half an avocado, veggie stew, brown rice, pepper, and lemon juice. And 
we are sitting down and watching the rest of the Leonardo DiCaprio um, climate change movie. I'm gonna finish it and I will let you guys know how I feel. We finished dinner up and um, and to be honest, I was pretty like, eh, with the film. I feel like it kind of gave a lot of problems, but it didn't give a lot of solutions. It didn't even recommend to go, like kind of did to recommend go vegan or vegetarian. It said that there's a huge problem with the animal agricultural um, industry and how beef cows are the number one contributor in terms of animals. It's kind of annoying that they were like, oh, just eat chicken instead of beef. And you're like, no. Yeah, anyway, I'm ranting, but <laughs> I was a little disappointed that they didn't talk about that more and that, you know, he didn't kind of push the fact that, you know, we really need to be consuming less meat if we want to save the planet. My camera just died. What did you guys think? Let me know. What do you think? Um, all right, I'm going to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And like I said before, let me know what kind of videos you want to see before Christmas. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Do I say bye? That's great.